At election time, Canadians vote in a first-past-the-post system. That means in every riding, the candidate that collects the most votes wins a seat. Everyone else gets nothing. Critics say this has led to low voter turnout because Canadians don't feel their vote counts. The government says that will change. The government is moving forward today on modernizing how Canadians vote. The current system will be studied by a committee of 10 MPs who will vote on options. Six of them are Liberals. Uh, Liberals have chosen to maintain their false majority on the committee, stack the decks. The NDP says the Liberals already have a favourite option, preferential ballot. It allows voters to rank their choices in order of preference. The NDP says that system favours the Liberals, but not voters. It's great if you like going to the ice cream store and say, I'd like chocolate, and they say, how about vanilla? And, and you say, no, and, they, and you keep going down the list until you end up at pistachio, which you never wanted. Then there's proportional representation. Example, if you get 40% of the vote, you get 40% of the seats in the House. The Conservatives say Canadians should be able to vote for their preferred option in a referendum. Canadians are intelligent people, and if you put a question in front of them, they will educate themselves. Pure proportional Green Party leader Elizabeth May endorses some kind of change, but it is way easier to vote under these systems than to explain them. The government wants the committee to consult widely and report back by the end of the year. The goal is to have a new system in place in time for the next election in 2019. Julie Van Dusen, CBC News, Ottawa.